In this tutorial, we shall continue from the geometry made at the previous tutorial Trisco 2D Basics and learn to analyze this geometry. You can also download the Trisco 2D file from the link mentioned in the description. From the edit menu choose derived thermal properties. We select linear thermal transmittance which is the psi value. By doing this, two windows will pop up, length of flanking elements and U values. The psi value due to the thermal bridge from the wooden stud is calculated by dividing the overall 2D heat flow by the temperature difference and then subtracting the 1D U value multiplied by the length of the flanking element. We can define the length of the flanking element with two coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2. We can either manually input the reference grid to pick the coordinate at x and y or a shorter way is to click on x1 and click on the first point. Then you notice that the Trisco automatically picks X1 and Y1. Similarly, you can now select the cell on X2 and click on the second point. Trisco then automatically picks the two ND points coordinates and calculates the distance between the two points. Similarly, we can define the 1D U value along the end. Click on X1 and choose first point. Click on X2 and choose second point. You now notice the 1D U value automatically calculated between these two points. The grid we now have is only sufficient for creating the blocks and not fine enough to run the analysis. From the grids menu, choose Auto Split to create the calculation grid. Then you can set the base grid distance, say 1 mm. Then you notice the grid being split for calculation. Here at the regions for change of material, you see a fine grid width of 1 mm and then as we go farther away, we see the grid being split with increasing spacing. If we wanted to create a minimum grid just enough to define the blocks, from the grids menu choose to create the minimum grid. Select both along the X and Y axis. Upon clicking OK you see the minimum grid created. If we create an additional grid by choosing set vertical grid line. This is now just an excess grid. So if we now choose to create a minimum grid again, then we notice that these excess grid lines get removed because they are not required to define blocks. Now we can click on the calculate system to run the analysis. Then Trisco 2D automatically asks if we want to auto split the grid. Choose yes. Choose grid base size as one millimeter. You can now see the result of the calculation. Click on Graphic Output to better visualize the output. Currently, View Mode is under Fill Material. Choose to fill temperatures to see the temperature gradient. Click on Derived Thermal Properties to check the derived parameters we previously selected to analyze. Click on Fill Boundary Conditions to see only the boundary conditions. Now you click on Fill Isothermal Lines. You can customize these lines by clicking on the temperature range. Here you can uncheck boundary conditions to input maximum and minimum temperatures to visualize the heat transfer. The first increment here is represented in pink and the second increment is represented in red. You can change and input new values if required. Now if we wanted to highlight the isotherm line at 10 degrees, we shall input this at a single value as 10. Now click OK. You cannot distinctly see the 10 degrees line as they overlap with other isotherm lines. Now click on the line styles, here you can change color by double clicking on it and changing to green and then changing width to 3. Upon clicking OK you can distinctly visualize the single value isotherm line. Turn on fill temperatures to overlay temperature gradient with isotherm lines. To turn off the preview of isothermal lines, you can click on the icon again to deselect. Similar to the isotherm line, you can also visualize isoheat flux lines. Click on the save icon to save the graphic image. You now can close the graphic output. Click on text output, here at input data you can see the calculation parameters such as the grid used for analysis along with the blocks and color assigned. Now click on the result tab. And you can see here the total number of nodes used for analysis and output of derived thermal property, in our case psi value. 
Then you also see the inputs required to calculate psi value such as 2D heat transfer, temperature difference, 1 du value and length of flanking element. Here you can also notice the minimum and maximum temperature for each color. You now can close text output. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.